If t is a number greater than 1, then t squared is how much greater than t? Let's do an easier question first. Five is how much greater than two? Well, you would subtract to figure it out, so obviously the answer is three. But in our example, we have t squared and t, so we have to subtract t squared and t. Well, we can factor that. t squared and t have a common factor of t. And if you take t squared and divide it by t, you get t. And if you take t and divide it by t, you get 1. So t times t minus 1 is our answer. We also could have just picked a number for t, but we have to pick a number that's greater than 1. So let's say we picked 3. And the question becomes, 3 squared is how much greater than 3? Which is certainly not 1. It's certainly not 2. Is it t? Well, t in this case was 3. No, it's not t either. Is it t times t minus 1? So is it 3 times 3 minus 1? Well, yeah, it is, because it's 3 times 2. So again, you would get the same answer. In fact, you could even plug it in here, the 3. And you would get 2 times 4. Well, that doesn't work. In case you're wondering why they said if t is a number greater than 1, if you try using 1, you get 0 for t squared minus t. If you try using 0, you get 0 for t squared minus t. The real problem, though, comes in when you use a number between 0 and 1, because when you square numbers between 0 and 1, it actually makes them smaller. For instance, if you square 1 half, you get 1 fourth, which is smaller than 1 half. So it's not greater than 1 half. You get negative 1 fourth when you subtract. Negative numbers actually work, but instead of saying t is a number greater than 1 or a negative number, they just said t is a number greater than 1.